Greetings YouTubers. Check check it out. I'm so excited. Um necessity is the mother of invention. And uh so what I did is I th put down some damp uh newspaper over the area on the driftwood where the um the moss was tied down. But I then came up with this idea to absorb the soupy mess that I had uh, stirred up yesterday. I said, oh, wait a minute. Abs you know, use some of these here sheets of newspaper to get up that extra water that's uh, in, the, in the soil. And lo and behold, it looks amazing. This is exactly the way I wanted it to be. And this is exactly the type of consistency I want it to be. It's like a nice, just, did I just, oh yeah, I did. Sorry about that. I thought I covered the mic, but this is like beautiful. It's like so firm. It's moist and firm. Awesome. Oh my God. I'm just so psyched. Like one thing good has happened, um, and that is... Uh, you know, trying out that little newspaper absorption. It just, it, it worked. And I shouldn't be, like, so floored by science. But uh, I'm just happy that I could just move on. And uh, that I got over that little soup, you know, my little soupy mixture issue. So now I'm just, like, wiping down all this... Uh, dirt that's all over the place just brushing it brushing it away and um yeah then I'm gonna start to to do my cap thing so uh yeah I didn't think I was gonna be showing like my whole crazy process but uh you know Amber you've inspired me sisters of the soil let's do this let's see how this works out Oh yeah, and this is just a regular little wood, a shim, you know, that I got from the hardware store, like, you know. Okay, beautiful people, um, I'm doing the cap, I'm beginning my cap on the dirt, um, and I started off with the active flora substrate, planted aquarium substrate, and it says instant cycling, um, but in any case, I'm gonna be cycling my own way with my own media. Uh, the pre-existing media from the 15 gallon but I just wanted to give you guys a look at uh, how this is coming along thus far so um yeah this I'm not hating this you know I'm someone that likes the really dark substrate I, I love black substrate and black sand and such um but I'm, I'm kind of liking this you know the brown and green thing going on so anyway this gravel is uh, a little bit smaller than pea sized and there's some pieces in here that are pea sized I know that's something that's discussed a lot like on um, Dustin's channel and a lot of other dirt folks they're like oh pea sized gravel so I guess this falls into that category um, I've never heard of this substrate before, active flora, but uh, yeah, they're, I guess, you know, this part is right. They're doing these very, very nice, round, pea-sized gravel rocks and smaller, um, and what I've been doing is just like, just, you know, leveling this out a very, very thin layer, just enough to, to cap and cover that, that soil that I put down, so, uh, yeah. I'm very happy with it. So, uh, on to the next one. On to the next phase. Okay. Um, I have to admit, I am actually feeling good. I'm feeling happy about this. Let me see if we can get a little bit of a close-up. So we have, uh, dirt, active flora, which is that pea size um, substrate that, uh, supposedly has you know instant cycling properties and then we have the uh the floor max which is also full of plenty of nutrients 
for the plants. So I, I just, I feel really, really happy about this right now. Um, I'm excited. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm looking for low-tech planet tank. Again, if you have clippings, I will appreciate them very, very much. This will be not just my tank. This will be our tank, the community tank on a whole other community level. So um, for those of you who have been like my cheerleaders and my supporters, I really, really appreciate you guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful YouTubers. I'm just like, you know, basking in the afterglow here. I think that happens with a lot of us. When we, you know, it's like a new relationship, right? It's all, like, exciting and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I'm just feeling really, really excited about this. Put put in the, you know, whatever, the hardscape. Got got some uh, river rock in there. I'm thinking that that might look good. You know, river rock, driftwood, java moss. Um, yeah, and a nice nutrient rich uh you know foundation uh, i'm a real big fan of low tech you know wall stat just like jungles and so on and so forth so i would really love to have that type of look here um my big problem has always i think my problem has been with lighting so hopefully i will um get that problem resolved and also get the right type of plants. Mr. Mom was talking about like having the right type of plants in your setup and just like the whole trial and error of it. So um, wish me luck, wish me luck. Um, hopefully I'll get the right balance. I'll get the balance right. Uh, so anyway, enough of me. I'm gonna put some water in this bad boy and uh, let that stuff start, you know, moving around start the cycle thank you guys so much for your support um this is g aka the brooklyn blue jay be well all